Welcome to the fourth of a series of five InfoWorks videos that are designed to be an introduction to the fundamental uses of the software. My name is Dana Rice and I am the Civil 3D and InfoWorks Applications Engineer for TPM Incorporated. In today's video I will show you how InfoWorks easily interacts with other programs. We're starting our video in a 3D model of downtown Denver. And as you can see from this pull-down list, there are several file types that can easily be brought into the model. And in this model of Denver, I have brought in shape files from the GIS website of the zoning information. You can see as I hover and pause in my model, the zoning labels show up. And here we are back in our Denver, Colorado model that we've been using in the previous videos. And as I've mentioned in the previous episodes, InfoWorks is a program best suited for the preliminary engineering and due diligence stage of your project. And once you're ready to move forward with detailed design work in Civil 3D, it is easy to export that information out of InfraWorks. For instance, what I will do now in my InfraWorks model is to export as an IMX file the parking lot graded area that I drew in. On the insert ribbon of Civil 3D, there is a command that allows you to easily bring the InfoWorks information into your drawing file. As you can see, the information from InfoWorks will import into Civil 3D as uh, pipe networks as well as surfaces and the roads come in as alignments. And these are all fully functioning Civil 3D objects that I was able to import directly from InfoWorks. And Civil 3D objects can also be imported back into InfraWorks from Civil 3D after they are built. I have a Civil 3D drawing in which I drew a detention pond using grading groups and then, you know, the detention pond surface is the object that I will, will be bringing into InfraWorks. And that is very easily done, as you can see. There's my detention pond. On another proposal in my model, these parking stripes were drawn in Civil 3D and then exported out of Civil 3D as a shapefile. And just like the zoning GIS shapefiles that were brought into downtown Denver, this shapefile of the parking stripes was brought in easily because my Civil 3D drawing and InfoWorks model are on the same coordinate system. And finally, let's look at two types of files that we can bring in that represent buildings and site enhancements. 
this cabin and the bistro set next to it are both SketchUp files that I imported into InfraWorks. And in my second building proposal, this building is a Revit model. I am able to bring in actual Revit models into InfraWorks. So InfraWorks is a powerful repository where you can bring in civil 3D drawings and civil 3D objects as well as Revit models along with the other files that you see here. On our next video, the last of the series, we will explore sharing your design with the client. Thank you for your time today. My name is Dana Rice and I am the Civil 3D and InfraWorks Applications Engineer for TPM Incorporated.